What going on this or no? So come up, come up in it, Ronnie. I'm yeah, hearing yeah. sitting collide to feature in a view. I'm here on the save a truck tire blow to her sitting, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna slide. Gonna slide if you Welcome to Crime Time News and Entertainment with a Buzz. The following message is brought to you by Do the Right Thing or the Wrong Thing I Go Do You. This is a daily occurrence on the roads of Jamaica. People don't realize that, listen, if you're going up a hill, down a hill specifically, and it is raining, the conditions are bad. You need to slow the F U C K down. If you know, say your tire them no good, your brakes no good, your alignment is not good, especially when you're driving one of those big rigs, as in 18 wheeler, trailer, as in some sorts of water truck. Now, people, I don't know the circumstances who was wrong and who was sliding on the highway. But with this, uh, some people crash. And we see say, some people couldn't lose them life. And you hear the people, I say, people always are crash up there. So whenever the road gets slippery, people lose control. However, the fact is that most of the time it is speeding. So therefore, if you see say, the road wet, adjust yourself accordingly. Simple as one, two, three. Point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news, it is simply called, if you are mixed up in a badness, you are going to get fixed up by the JCF, the military team. The rules and protocols as it pertains to JCF members, special operation for gunmen, Don, K-I-L-L-E-R-S, have drastically changed for the worse for these individuals. It seems as if one individual, Mr. Welch from Dunkirk, influential people say, my some sauce of shatter, he my some sauce of Don. He is not going to get the next opportunity to change his life and be a beneficiary of those policy. Now, people, based on the information, it is said that a couple of days ago, Special Operation JCF JDF went into Dunkirk looking for men that are posing all sorts of problems. Wanted men, them call it. Based on the accounts of the Popo, when they went to a specific property, they came under F-I-R-E, and you know that cliche script, them wheel, whop and pop off, blaze up some can. After the smoke clear, Mr. Welch was seen clutching onto some sorts of illegal tool and trying to clutch to his life. Unfortunately for Mr. Welch, he did not make it. Now, after that incident, we see that the residents, the family members, the friends, the beneficiaries of the crime, they are up in arms. And they are claiming that the Popo took away his life, extrajudicial. They are called B-L-O-O-D-E-D. -E they shouldn't have K-I-L-L-E-D him, even if he had a tool. Now, people, we have to ask ourselves the question, would the victims of Mr. Welch, allegedly gunman, get such an opportunity to be taken in or given a second lease on life? How many victims does Mr. Welch have? Did their family have a weep and ball for him, for them, like he is now doing, his family and friends is now doing? question is easily answered. It is rhetorical. Based on some residents, one young man in claim say, they know a day, Friday the 27th of September, me take him go to the power power station because he heard that he was a person of interest in several crimes, including takeaway, including pie pie up. When he went to the Elliston Road CIB, they told him that he was not wanted, he could go. However, people, he did not read the fine print. It is not that he was not wanted 
It is the fact that he was not wanted alive. He was wanted D-E-A-D. -E so therefore, them gave him a long rope to go and hang himself, in which they were going to do in some sorts of controversial piper out. Based on a lady that was allegedly there, she said that, yes, Mr. Welch was there. Mr. Welch was walking down the road. He was on his phone. He saw the po po. Him said, I just go talk to them. I wear them about them for right now. I could meet them a come I just go talk to them a couple of days ago. So therefore, him down plates. Based on what the eyewitness said, the poor poor then said, I know Mr. Welch that them go for him. There was some sorts of argument. They were going back and forth. And then they heard loud E-X-P-L-O-S-I-O-N-S. That was Mr. Welch being taken out allegedly by the poor poor. Now people, here's the thing. The people them up in their arms, them are protests, them are block the road. When the poor poor come, them a tell the poor poor, oh, the poor poor wicked. The poor poor, them a deal with some sorts of gangster thing. But people like me say, there is no sorts of mercy for the merciless. Under the new protocols, as it pertains to the JCF, if you are wanted. So therefore, I would suggest that you give in yourself with your lawyer, with your pastor, with your granny, and insist that they don't let you go. It is safer for you to be on the road a lot of times when these judges let out, let out these same people that are repeat offender. It is only for them to lose them life. So sometimes we have to wonder if the judge know what he is doing because obviously it defies gravity. Whenever somebody is a repeat offender of some serious crime, then you grant them bail over and over. So people, maybe it is a setup. The residents are claiming that after them kill him and them fling him in the truck back, them then blaze up the can. They are claiming that it is that gun that they are going to use and claim that this is the tool that he used and pie pie up after them. So therefore, the K-I-L-L-I-N-G was justified. At the end of the day, people, like I told you, I've been telling you that the protocols have changed. They no longer have any sorts of intention of bringing in any sorts of wanted man, especially repeat offender, especially the people that are always bucking the system, witness gone, witness fear them. And what is even worse in this man's case, he was recently released from jail for some sorts of violent crimes. So people, at the end of the day, it is not as if this man was an innocent man. This man was guilty as sin. And these people want the poor poor to throw some sorts of sympathy party. But I am sorry to say that is not going to happen. Not under the new management of the JCF Special Operation, them call it. So this is my recommendation to all of you knuckleheads out there that have aspirations of being shot at, being done, being gunmen. Don't think that the international community is not noticing. Don't think that the JCF or Jamaica gives a F-U-C-K because this is now a personal problem. Don't think that the commissioner, don't think that the top people in our security are not aware of what is going on. Don't you realize if and when anybody loses their life controversially and Indicom is investigating, there is nothing deadly squat that is going to come out of it. Point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called Jamaica is screwed. When it comes to criminals in high and low places, in this case, I am going to speak about the criminals that are in high places, meaning politicians, specifically your prime minister. Now, you know that the prime minister is under scrutiny because he did not declare his statutory declaration. He then decided that, all right, it seems as if the pressure is getting too much. So he hired some big lawyer and he went to the Supreme Court and he wants to strike out a lot of the parts, the accusations, the allegations that are made against him by the Integrity Commission. He is now claiming that the Integrity Commission breached 
overstep its bounds and they are infringing on his rights, meaning privacy. They are making him seem as if he is a bad person. He is a criminal element in which he is. So he decided that he is going to sue the Integrity Commission, all of the top people. Them, and he wants his lawyer to get the Supreme Court to block out a major part of the Corruption Prevention Act, a specific section that deals with illicit enrichment. He wants them to modify it so that it could fit his agenda. Now, people, when we hear stuff like this and we see the way that the Prime Minister is living, if you have an iota of sense, it would tell you that something is wrong wherever there is smoke, there is fire. So now Andrew Olness realized that he is under pressure, so therefore he is doing some sorts of damage control because he is looking pretty bad in front of the international and also national audience, meaning the people of Jamaica. It got even further. There was a House of Parliament, a House of Representatives that was held less than 24 hours ago, PNP and JLP, opposition and leader. And the PNP decided they want to file some sorts of motion, no confidence motion, saying that the Prime Minister, he is a criminal, he is doing all sorts of illicit stuff, he is not transparent, there is no sorts of ethics or morals being displayed by this Prime Minister because he failed to file his statutory declaration for a couple of years. The Integrity Commission is yet to certify because he is under investigation and it is supposed to be transferred to the FID, Financial Investigative Branch. So is this the Prime Minister and do some lawsuits? So therefore, the JLP were up in arms. As a matter of fact, his wife, who is a House Speaker, Juliet Holness, that is, she excused herself because of conflict of interest of she being the wife of the Prime Minister. So therefore, the Deputy House Speaker, he was there, and people, like I said, the circus got so out of hand. This is what Pernell Charles had to say. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. An important principle is a principle that prevents certain matters from being discussed or debated publicly, including in Parliament, while they are under consideration of the court. And in this matter, the subjudicate rule, along with the standing orders of Parliament, prevent matters that are actively being considered by the court from being subject to any discussion or debate in our Parliament. And you have additional rules, which also guide the operations of Parliament, that make it clear that a motion that pertains to any issue that is before the court and is to be adjudicated upon should not be countenanced by way of tabling in Parliament. I am confident that well-thinking Jamaicans will look on, they will assess it for themselves, and they will reject the move by the opposition to abuse the process of Parliament uh, in a bid to achieve their own partisan objectives. So people, that is a representative of the JLP. And we know that when it comes to politics, both JLP or PNP, they are going to protect their brothers in arms, whether they are wrong. They are going to be wrong and strong. That is what we expect. However, when we see that a country such as Jamaica, known on the map globally for corruption, and then we hear that the leader of the nation, Andrew Holness, is under all sorts of investigation. He cannot even give a simple explanation, make a statutory declaration. And even when he claims that he is doing it, there is some sorts of controversy and drama. He now, he wants to go to the courts. He wants to blame the Integrity Commission. He wants to amend and change the rules and law as it pertains to illicit enrichment, as it pertains to Prevention Corruption Act. This is what a psychopath does or do. Whenever they realize that their back is against the wall and they're being caught, they're on the hot seat, they start to do the blame game. They start to point on this one, point on that one, claiming that the rules are infringing on his right, the rules are not fair. 
There is all sorts of stuff that is going against him. It is prejudice against him. When all he had to do is simply file his statutory declaration and everybody would be in the clear. However, he knows that something is wrong, so therefore he is using all sorts of deflective mechanism. However, people, it is not going to work. But what is even worse, even if it comes out that Andrew Holness has stolen all of the money from out of the purse of the Jamaican people, it is not going to make any sorts of difference. More than likely, he is going to still be the leader, unless, of course, he is voted out. This is a very sad state of affair in a Jamaica. And people, I am going to say this before I leave. When it comes to either the PNP or the JLP, both of them are the same. As a matter of fact, every prime minister that I have known in the history with probably, and probably is the operative word, Michael Manley, all of them are thieves. May I talk about Siaga, may I talk about Portia, may I talk about Pernell Charles, may I talk about Bruce Golden, may I talk about Andrew Wallace, may I talk about just about everybody. Jamaica is pretty much F U C K E D up S H I T S Creek without any sorts of paddle. Point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news, you could be a hard-working person making a whole bunch of money. Or you could be a hard-working person living hand-to-mouth, can barely make it. Or you could be a criminal element, petty or high level, and end up in the same place, meaning the afterlife. I got a picture a couple of hours ago because of the graphic nature. I cannot show it. It is said to have taken place in a halfway tree. There was a young man sitting on a stool. Obviously, he got a couple of holes where those holes were not supposed to be from some sorts of tool. He was in a white shirt and a gray jeans. He was B-L-O-O-D-Y all over. Pretty much... Some of his marrow was laying on the ground. Like me say, this happened in a crossroads. Now people, a lot of times, people dibble and dabble. Them have them little hustle, which is like the side hustle. And then they have their real job, which is criminal activity. Not saying that this is the case in this young man's case. But the point is this. If you know, say, you're involved in a illegal stuff. You cannot be posted at a place of job on a daily basis. Or even worse, you could just have a random argument with somebody and because you decide that you're going to defend yourself, somebody P-U-S-S-Y you up, then you tell them back about for them mother, rate back and forth. It is not a good idea just to save pride, just to save faith. Because remember, that stranger that you and them are in some sorts of arguments does not have a fixed post or a fixed address, a fixed job. So therefore, they are going to have a very advantageous position versus you disadvantageous. So people like me say, I don't know the circumstance that led to this youth losing his life, but me just I say, at least this youth is showing some sorts of sign that he gets up on a daily basis. Him go him lick a spot and him hustle. Was he doing anything illegal? Only time will tell. Moral of the story, you could do good, you could work hard, or you could not work at all. You can do illegal and you can do illegal. You can do illegal and you can do legitimate job and you can still lose a life. That is just the space, Jamaica, that we live in right now. Sad to say, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least... Please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dance All Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.